Hello, uh, I'm Anur Zafakar from Frederick Schiller University, Jena, and I will be talking about running reproducible metabolomics workflows with CWL. Metabolomics workflows, or any uh, workflow in general, uses or takes some input data files and returns outcomes or uh, output from running that workflow. And the workflow usually consists of different steps. So uh, every time you define a certain type of data sets and define certain parameters, the workflow should give you the same results. So you want to make sure that the workflow uh, returns reproducible results. To ensure reproducibility in workflows, we follow FAIR principles so that the workflow uh, and the data sets that are used to run that workflow are findable, um, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. We use uh, Metabolome Annotation Workflow, or MO, as a use case to ensure uh, reproducibility in metabolomics workflows. To make sure uh, that MO follows all the FAIR principles, uh, we ensure findability and accessibility by making the source code for MO available on GitHub. Uh, while it is available as two Docker containers for R and Python as the workflow is written in two languages. And it is uh, also going to be soon be available as a bio container. Uh, to ensure interoperability, we have um, used CWL as a workflow definition and a standard language for MA. And lastly, the reusability uh, is ensured by integrating different provenance gathering libraries into the workflow that follow W3C prop ontology. And at the end, all of this is stored as a AroCrate uh, package. Today, uh, for this session, we are focused on CWL. So uh, MAW is a workflow that is written both in R and Python. So earlier we had uh, two modules in uh, Metabolome Annotation Workflow. One referred to the R part of the workflow known as dereplication, and the second one, uh, candidate selection, is written in Python. However, uh, now MA is written in CWL, and as opposed to the previous version of the workflow, which had two modules, now we have divided the workflow into three modules. The first module takes our uh, uh, script and runs the R part of the workflow. The second module takes results from this module um, and uses an independent um, software series to run uh, or analyze some of the results. And lastly, the results from all of these different modules is stored in the Chem Informatics section of the workflow, which uses Python script and runs the Python uh, workflow to generate the results. And uh, we can also gather uh, provenance or uh, collect provenance using CWL tool. Uh, now we use CWL uh, for uh, collection of provenance through CWL prov. Uh, it collects provenance information in W33Prov ontology. And here is a very simple um, um, representation of the Prov ontology, where you can see that agent uh, is something that performs an activity. Uh, activity are different modules that are present in the workflow. And entities are referred to all the data files, um, the input data, the intermediate results, or the output data. All of this provenance is stored as an arrow crate. And here we refer to the workflow arrow crate that is specific for collection of provenance um, uh, from uh, any workflow execution. Uh, in future, we would like to make workflow uh, more interoperable by um, ensuring that uh, if we import CWL in different workflow engines, the workflow still runs properly. Uh, we also want to work on the scalability so that we can run multiple files using CWL uh, in uh, more in CWL. And lastly, the provenance so that we address all the metabolomics relevant questions and integrate the inner provenance with CWL and AroCrate. Uh, I would like to acknowledge all of my collaborators and my group back in Jena. And thank you. Um, I'm open for questions.